I am Dr. Philanthropy, and I am here to help you engineer the perfect call. The perfect call? Yes, the perfect call. As a phonathon caller, you are a vital part of Guilford College's support network. Did you know that this school relies on philanthropic donations for nearly 30% of its operating budget? Without callers like you, this school would crumble to its foundations. It's hilarious. Well, when you come in, you sit down and you put your name on your tally sheet um, and then the date. Um, then you sit down and wait for six o'clock where Hallie would come in and give us um, the announcements. We will um, go to the um, box, which is right there by the chair, and we'll get the calling cars, and then we just sit down and we begin to call. We have a couple minutes. Can I update your records and ask you a few questions? Okay, when's a good time to call you? Just another night? Okay, have a great night. Have you been receiving uh, a magazine? Hi, this is from Gilbert College. Um, did you enjoy getting your degree here? Awesome. Did you have any favorite classes or professors that you took? And I'm a college, I'm like, it's my senior year. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Not <laughs> homework or getting ready for graduation. I'm supposed to be staying in my room and watching Netflix. <laughs> exactly. There will, there will be people there wearing nicer clothes that cost more than your car. <laughs> Hi, this is Eva from Guilford College. Hi, this is Tapia from Guilford College. Hi, this is Sage from Guilford College. I'm a student caller for the Guilford Annual Funds. Just I'm a student caller for the Guilford Annual Funds. And I was calling tonight to update you on yet another great year at Guilford. Do you another great year here at Guilford? I'm sorry I missed you tonight. I'm sorry I missed you tonight. I'm sorry I missed you tonight. One of our student callers will try to reach you later in the week. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Uh, go forth. I'm gonna pass out some reunion class first. I have like actually a lot of social anxiety, so like it was very interesting putting me on a phone talking to people I don't know, um, and it really helped I think talk to people in person as well. Um, and I don't know why I was good at it. <laughs> really, I guess I can put on a happy voice, um, and I just made a lot of good calls. Um, they thought I was a good caller and I was organized. Giving back to Guilford, um, I had a lot of trouble choosing a school because I didn't really want to go to college. Um, I mean, I did eventually, but I just like hated high school so much <laughs> that I didn't really want to be around people my age. Um, so I knew I wasn't going to pay for a school that I didn't completely fall in love with. Um, and Guilford's the best decision I've ever made. Um, and I love having a job where I can give back and also like talk on the phone and it teaches me new things about Guilford and it teaches me just more reasons to love Guilford. I mean I like the people. It's and like when you talk to like the people who work here and sometimes you get a really good person on the phone um, and you have a really good conversation and they give you good life advice or just like and it's nice to make the connection but also you talk to some not so nice people and like the nights where you just call, are constantly dialing and don't talk to anyone can be really kind of boring and frustrating. Way back, it's been over 10 years ago now because not while I've been at Guilford, but in the past, they did outsource it for a short period of time and they I, there's companies that will do it, that will make the phone calls for you went over horribly. Um, you know, Guilfordians, they don't want it. They want to hear from a student. They want to hear from somebody on campus and know that it's authentic and that they really know what's going on. So um, it's really important to have the students make the calls. Uh, if you're interested at all in donating to Guilford, I can send you a pledge card and you can just send it back by June. So how about the Super duper. Um, well, uh, I was wondering if you heard of something called the Gold Society of Guilford College. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's just the sadness in my eyes. Oh, congratulations. Guilford prepared you for that? You know, like, people just have that, when they say, like, no thanks, they just have that way of saying it. It's just like, there's no way this is going to happen. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally understand. But uh, since you did work here, you know the deal that even even like $5 in participation is super important. Um, 
And we have, like, if you wanted to give today on a credit card, that's possible, but we do also have the pledge card, which doesn't have to be sent back until June 30th. And so you have some time, like, even if it's just, like, you find some change on the ground or whatever, you know, that could get sent in. Do you notice a difference in either your parents or your own, um, or, like, your own experiences, like your parents getting calls from their colleges and universities? Do your parents talk to you about that? My sister does. She went to Lewis and Clark and she gets really pissed off whenever they call her. <laughs> and she hasn't like, changed that at all since you're a phone mm -hmm, caller? Mm -hmm. No, she also gets, they send five billion emails. Like they're more annoying than we are. Okay, um, I can send you a pledge card and you would have until the end of June to send it back. Okay, so um, where would you like to designate your donation tonight? Okay. Um, where would you like to designate that? We have the loyalty fund, which is for day-to-day -day operational budget, student scholarships, faculty development, things like that. Um, Friends of the Library Center, which is for the Friends of the Library for subscriptions, periodicals, books, things like that. Um, the Friends Center, which is for religious life and programming on campus. Um, the CCE fund, which is for the adult education program. And the Quaker Club, which is for the sports program. That's good. I will send that out to you, and you should get that within two weeks, Joe. Yeah. All right, that's totally perfect. That's actually fantastic. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, CC is really funny, so that's great. Well, thank you so much for this. We really appreciate it, and I will send you your pledge card and just return it um, by June 30th. So I'm actually going to, like, send you a little letter. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye. All right, thank you so much. Bye. All right, thank you so much. I hope you have a great night. Bye. Bye. I swear I can't talk anymore. All right. <laughs> A little harder because clearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then, let's play. Phonathon is a huge factor for fundraising at Guilford College. Um, it raises a significant amount of money each year, usually at, at least between two and three hundred thousand um, dollars. And, and almost more importantly than that is the number of people that we're able to reach over the phone. Um, we usually have donations from well over a thousand people over you know the course of a whole academic year and that's massive I mean you know that's a huge number of people that we can reach and so it's it's really the most cost-effective way to reach the most people and get you know the highest number of gifts and plus alumni they I mean generally the ones that are going to answer the phone and make a gift they like to talk to students and they like to give advice and tell about you know, how it was when they were here and all those sorts of things. So the program is, is crucial for Guilford, absolutely. And are you guys going to give when Phonathon calls you when you graduate? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Because I, I, I know how it feels to call yeah. white people yeah. and they don't give. So I would give. It might not be like but I'll still give it. I'll still give. That's what I'm saying. Two to five dollars on a credit card. Something <laughs> ring that bell and get that incentive. <laughs> and I'm and I'm gonna be like, what game are you playing? How much do you get for this? Like, <laughs> are you giving two quarters or three quarters? <laughs>